I remember, I guess, when was it? In the early 2000s, maybe? We were touring a lot with Primus. And I have huge respect for Les Claypool as a bass player and as a fisherman and as a winemaker. Uh, he's a super cool guy. So uh, I got really, I really got off at watching how he approached the instrument. You know, he used to say to me, you're a big influence on me, but I didn't, I didn't really hear that in his playing because his, he's got his own style and it's, it's a very rhythmic style of playing. And I liked that and I always found it a bit foreign to the way I play. I found my playing very kind of white man, you know, very white Canadian uh, <laughs> style of playing. So he has a f sort of funk and a, and a sense of rhythm that I found very appealing. And at the same time, there were all these bass players doing all this slap and pop and stuff, which didn't really feel like my kind of thing either. In an effort to bring more rhythm into my playing, I just started messing about with my approach to writing a bass part. When Neil and I would get together to discuss what kind of rhythm section belonged in a particular song, we at that period made a conscious effort to make it a little more funkier, a little more uh, rhythmic. And so that enabled me to then sit down and try to find new ways of approaching the rhythm. Now I don't play with a pick, and I never have, but I, I play with my nails quite a bit so I, I can get I can get I can get a lot of twang when I need to. So I use the edge of my nail. And so sometimes when you try to emulate the style of a pick, the advantage of a pick is you can go up strokes and down strokes, back and forth, right, until you... And so I just started varying that style and adding some funk to it, like that. And that's how it developed. And then I got kind of carried away with it. And so now it's, I don't even realize when I'm doing it, whenever instinctively I feel the part needs more rhythm, I kind of go into this kind of flamenco approach and uh, it really suits our music and uh, it's fun to do. So it gives me just more tools, you know. As you grow as a player, you want to be able to look at the neck with less mystery as you get older. They have to be more and more areas of familiarity so that you can choose to go there when you need to go there and it adds a different tone, a different color to your playing. And the whole rhythmic, or flamenco style playing is another, another tool for me, another color, another tone that I can go to.